What's up friends, fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and today we are doing another print run estimation. This time for 2020 Series 2. Uh, series 2 was released about a month ago. Um, just now getting around to doing a print run estimation on it. Uh, mainly because this is the first time I've actually seen some packs of Series 2, which we're going to open afterwards. Um, I still yet have to see a blaster of Series 2. Um, this product is really hard to come by in my area. Um, just have not seen it. Uh, especially in blaster form around here so let's go ahead and dive into the print run estimation and then we'll open these few packs I got of series 2 as you can see here just the normal setup I do for my print run estimations uh, I got various uh, numbered cards, zero numbered cards here I got their odds uh, for each type of product, Jumbo, Blaster, and Hobby. The number of unique serial numbers uh, for each one. So 2020 for gold, 99 for vintage stock, 25 for camos, and 101s for platinums. So I use those numbers uh, to figure out how many total packs you need. Now you gotta remember this is uh, if Tops printed all these in a vacuum. So like these Hobby numbers would represent if the whole print run was in nothing but Hobby boxes. Same thing with Jumbo, if the whole print run was nothing but Jumbo boxes, like there was no blasters or hobby boxes. And the same thing for Blaster. So, you know, the numbers can be a little skewed, so take them with a grain of salt. Mainly because uh, when you calculate these, it's like calculating them in a vacuum without taking into account all the other uh, variations of the products. You know, you got gravity feeds and hanger boxes, whatever, what have you. Here's the total number of base cards you would get if this was the total number of packs. And I base that off of 12.75 uh, cards per pack. Basically, you're getting one or two inserts per pack. Uh, a lot of packs I saw only had one insert, so that's why I got the 12.75. And yeah, here's the total base cards you get. They're pretty close when you look at these numbers. All around 80 million. You know, this one's a little bit higher, 86 million. Uh, this is the lowest one at 77 uh, million right here. So basically what I did is I take and average all these and then use the base checklet size to determine what the total print run is for the base set. Uh, we'll go ahead and reveal that now. And you're looking at 230,000 uh, base sets, which is the second highest that I've estimated so far. The highest still being series one. But yeah, let me know what you think about that number, 230,000 ba 230, base sets. Um, of course, these base sets would go up later on when they release uh, the factory set for this year uh let's see let's go over to the inserts we'll estimate you know the print runs of the inserts uh here you got all the inserts uh the odds the checklist size and the estimated run i did this for hobby and blaster i left out jumbo in these because jumbo really throws off these numbers and here's the averages i got for the different uh inserts and here i organized them by most common to least common so most common, you got the Tops Now inserts, which are have a print run of about thirty-five thousand. Um, eighty-five Tops in the eighty-five Tops All Stars, uh, around fifteen, sixteen thousand. Same thing with the Home Run Challenge cards, um, and then they get a little rarer after that. Decades Best, Best, <laughs> Decades Best, Significant Statistics, uh, Trout Decade inserts, Warriors of the Diamond. Those are all around eight thousand. Uh, short prints like your short print variations around 3,000 uh, that surprised me I thought that would be less than the golds uh, which are numbered out of 2020 uh, but by this estimation they're actually more common than the gold cards the only difference is, is that the checklist is a lot smaller for the short prints uh, you know the checklist for golds is the whole 350 card set while the checklist for the short prints is only 75 so uh, overall when you look at it, it's a lot less short print cards Decades Best Blue, these are the blue parallels. All these around 600. The Trout Blue, the Warriors Decade Blue, uh, All Star Blues, all around 600. So those are actually pretty rare when you take into account the total print run of the thing, of the set, not the thing. And the Super Short Prints around 300 for the Super Short Print cards, which sounds about right to me, about 300. Uh, makes some really tough pulls when you have a print run this large uh, to have 300. I mean, if you imagine. Uh, pulling cards based on the print run of a set when you think about those old Donruss Elite cards and there were what the print run on those was like what 10,000 which is like 
you know blows your mind that's you know somewhere in the insert sets where you get you know you see these all the time these insert sets but back in the 90s when you're talking about print runs in the millions uh pulling a card that was you know had a print run of 10,000 was was pretty tough so that shows uh the inserts um you know the rarity of the insert so pulling those blue inserts is actually you're pulling something that isn't the easiest to pull yeah let me know in the comments below what you think about these uh this print run estimation let me show you i made a list here of uh all the estimations i've done so far and these are the all the sets i've done estimations for uh ranked from you know the lowest print run to the highest right now big league uh, still has the lowest estimated print run at 30,000 sets for big league, which is kind of surprising that it's such a small print run for big league uh, Then followed by gypsy queen then opening day uh, heritage then Bowman uh, But Bowman you also have to recall that this is just the base cards, which is a hundred or a hundred base cards This doesn't include the prospects and all that when you add in the prospects on top of that You're looking at uh, a print run. That's probably higher than series one if you add in the print run of all the prospects series two and then series one so series two i imagined would have been closer to series one uh without you know any supply chain issues they ran into during uh you know this this current pandemic i imagine series two would have been as high as series one uh but i think they had you know some production issues and all that they had to work out you know during the pandemic so yeah let me know what you think about these numbers as well uh in the description below so let's hide this and let's rip some series two this is the first series two uh i ripped this year so about a month late on ripping these i guess since these came out about a month ago uh like i said i cannot find blasters of these uh, i managed to go into a local target they had a gravity box there uh full gravity box so i'm sure these have been uh felt up and maybe even dinged up i'm pretty sure a pack searcher was there before because these things were kind of scattered all over the place but it is what it is. I wanted to open some Series 2 for this video. So I went ahead and picked them up. Let's see what we get in here. Of course, we're looking for, uh, you know, maybe one of those blue inserts. Or the Robert rookie card, which is probably the biggest uh, rookie. Well, it is the biggest rookie in this series. So let's try to get the focus right. Also looking for one of those uh, variation cards for those I Collect Hall of Famers. So Cal Quantrill, Corey Dickerson, uh, Yanni Chirinos, Chu, Erasco, Josh James, Bill McKinney, Keichel, uh, walk-off winner, uh, got a Shogo rookie, um, Seth Mejias Breen. All right, we got our first home run challenge card, which is a Aaron Judge. We got a Corey Seager 85. We got a Ryan Sandberg. Here we go. Hall of Famer. Turkey Red. Take that. Howie Kendrick and Miguel de Rojas. So we got a Hall of Famer in that first pack. Which is always good for me. Alright. Second pack. Oops. The little hanger dot just fell off my finger. Got a Hayward on the back. Got a Ross Stripling on the front. J.D. Davis. Austin Voth. Chad Green, Geo, uh, Rain Gifo. So a lot of names here that aren't really big names. Um, Steven Duggar, Renato Nunez. Uh, so overall, I think the Series 2 is kind of weak this year as far as checklist. There's a Bednar rookie. And Trevor Story is a bigger name. Lance Lynn's been having some good seasons recently. Alex Cobb. Oh, we got Elvis Andrews. I think this is a short print Elvis Andrews. Very nice. Nice little Elvis Andrews short print. Tell because it was turned around backwards. The code on this one is 115. While the code on the rest of them is 099. So this is a Elvis Andrews short print. Unsure if it's a super short print or just a regular short print. But pretty cool. Nice little pull there out of a hanger pack or a, or a gravity feed pack. There's a Joey Votto uh, turkey red. We got a Jose Ramirez and a Jason Hayward. All right, so last pack, and then I'll let you on your way. Hopefully everybody's having a great Wednesday. All right, we got Colin Moran, uh, Rangel Revelo, Victor Caratini, 
uh, Yamaguchi, Corey Kluba needs an Uba, Dustin Pedroia, Nomar Mazzara, Kevin Cron, Garrett Cole, it's Adam Duvall, his first Braves card I've seen. Uh, we got an Orioles team card here. We got a Rangers team card here. We got a Harrison Bader, significant uh, statistics, 93% catch percentage. So, nice little insert there. We got a Shane Bieber. Shane Bieber had a great uh, opening day uh, on the mound. New York State of Mind team card and a Mark Melanson. So, a couple Braves there. Uh, quick recap. We got some inserts here. None, no, none of the blue parallels uh, that were rare. Uh, the rarest one of these are the probably the significant statistics. I didn't do a print run estimation on the Turkey Reds because those are a blaster exclusive or retail exclusive, I should say. Um, so I didn't do a print run on these. We did get a Ryan Sandberg Hall of Famer, a couple Braves in uh, Duvall and Melanson, and a Elvis Andrews short print pretty cool uh picture there andrews and that does it so yeah um once again y'all let me know what you think about the uh print run estimations on uh 2020 series two uh, i do have some more packs of this they're going into my bargain buster group break which is currently filling uh we are up to bbgb number 26 which just amazes me blows my mind now when i when i had this idea for doing this random pack break um I never thought I would get up to 26 <laughs> of these breaks, but they're still rolling. Uh, they're still rolling. So if you want to get into that, uh, head over to cardobbies.com. Uh, check it out. There are a few spots still available in that. I think probably around 10 or 11 spots left in that um, before we break it. When we do break it, we usually break it on Sunday evenings around 8. But we wait until it fills before we break it. But I appreciate everybody hanging out and watching today. Remember, you only control two things. That's your thoughts and your actions. So stay positive. Keep ripping them packs, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.